There are a lot of reasons why you want to request a reconsideration, but primarily... If you... Welcome to Advancing with Financing. I'm Trevor. I'm Linda Ray. Hey, listen, before we start, can you take a moment to just click on the subscribe button down below? We could use all the love that we could get in pizza, too. Hey, today we want to talk about how do you write a reconsideration request letter to the SBA, Linda? Do you know how to do that? I do, because we have, and we continue to do so for dozens of our clients that need to have reconsideration. And Trevor, why are we sending a reconsideration letter? Why don't you share with a the good viewers A multitude of reasons. If your loan was denied, or if you're asking for more money than you were funded for, maybe you're asking for the grant that you never received. So how do you do that? Start with sending an email to the SBA at this address, and we'll include the address down below, pdcrecons at sba.gov. That's P. Peter D. David C. Charlie, R. Robert E. Edward C. Charlie, O. Oscar N. Nancy, D. David S. Stephen at sba.gov. Or watch this. Papa David Charlie Romeo Echo. Sting. Sierra. 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 Not Stingray? No. At SBA.gov. Write in the subject line your EIDL application number and all caps reconsideration. Keep your request short and to the point. Quote, I hereby request a recons reconsideration for my EIDL application insert number. End quote. When she says insert number, she means your EIDL loan number. Don't go into a long-winded story on the subject line, and don't go into a long-winded story in the body of the email. Provide you, again, your EIDL application number, your business EIN, or if you're self-employed, your social security number. If there is a reason why you feel they should reconsider it, you could potentially include it in the email. We don't really recommend it because there's a process that SBA has. So essentially, you just have to get into the request aspect without getting into the details. And referencing your application number, when they pull that up, they're going to see exactly what happened. And at that point, the SBA loan officer from the reconsideration team will reach out to you by email if they need additional documentation. We've seen it where they didn't ask for any additional documentation and they just approved the reconsideration. But in most cases, the clients that we've worked with have gotten an email asking for something like a signed IRS 4506 transcript form or a tax return or scheduled liabilities or driver's license, they're basic documents. That's when you get that email, that's when you know that somebody's working on the file. And by the way, right now, as of recording of this video, the EIDL reconsideration process is running anywhere between five and eight weeks. So if you haven't filed yet, get it done soon because the program ends on December 21st. My name is Linda Ray. And I'm Trevor. And we are Aurora Consulting. If Bye. there is anything you found helpful, useful, entertaining, educational, please hit that thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe so you can see every time we publish a video. We are trying to make sense out of this disaster of the it disaster ain't easy. financing. It ain't easy. I'll tell you right now. It's not. It's difficult. It's, it's a complicated situation, and we're trying to sort through it on a daily basis. <laughs> That's my Christopher Walk. That's your... I was going to say, Queens, Queen, Queens is, is in the house. Queens is in the house. And nobody in Queens, like, ever said, in the houses. Only if you're from the Bronx. <laughs> we are Aurora Consulting. Financing, financing solutions, solutions for your, your business success, success story. story.